white at the store, okay? All right. So I'm going to go over a couple of things. One of them is we're going to go into the eye and the orbits. Uh, we're going to go over the gesture again. And then the other thing that I've been talking to people about today is the turning line that's inside the body where a plane changes. For example, it's where things are lighter or darker. So if you look right here, you can see how light he is right here. Well, the turning line is here and here. If you look across here, his head's casting a shadow. You draw out the shape of that shadow and fill it in. All along here, the value is different from here over than it is from here. So those are, those are places you can go inside the form. We're also going to talk a little bit about the neck. I know I'd want to get that hand in there. So there's the gesture. We'll come back. Now I know my placement of the head. I want this elbow in. I want this hand in. That's the purpose for going all over the whole form really quickly like this. Because I'm introducing myself to what I think is going to be important in this drawing. And the introduction I got is that I want this hand in it. Okay, if you just work up here and slowly work your way down, you may find that the hand is right here. Okay, so this is why we do this. We're just kind of like looking at, at the whole map of the United States. And then we're going to come to Bakersfield and we're going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we are, I'm feeling the head again. It's the orbital plane. And the head itself has turning lines in it. And Charles has got a nice little high point right up in there. But you can see, if you look at his cheeks on this side, you can see that Right along what would be the front of his face,